Wow, what's all this? We still have a whole lot more to put in than more ride is graciously provided for us. back for part three of Trick My Trailer, where we are beefing up our travel trailer that we affectionately call Wendy. We are a travel nurse family. If you're new here of five, we live inside this thing and travel all around the United States taking travel nurse contracts. Yes, and we decided that we are not going to get a brand new RV. And so these are the things that we're doing to our RV to make it last a little bit longer. And it was high time for some upgrades. Absolutely. In our first video, we took you to Cliffs Welding in Mesa, Arizona, where Moride hooked us up with an all new suspension, wet bolt kit, and cross members to strengthen the frame. We also had Cliffs replace and upgrade our leaf springs, brakes, and axles to basically set us up with an all new, safer undercarriage. In our second video, we had Cliffs design and build us a custom hitch receiver for the back of our RV to hold our bikes. And in today's video, we're showing you how we're making our RV more stable while we're parked. If you're looking to upgrade your RV like we did instead of buying something new, make sure to watch all four videos in this series as we'll be covering the cost breakdowns and reviews of each item in our final video. Cliffs Welding did a fantastic job of squeezing in and getting all the little extra things that we asked for done. We have so much peace of mind now knowing that the rig is stabilized while we drive. Yes, and now we need to figure out how to get it stabilized while we are part, which is where today comes into play. To help keep the cost down, we decided to do the install ourselves for the steps and the X-Bray stabilizers with the help of our buddies from More Ride. How you feeling? Uh, good. I'm excited. Oh, nerd good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a little concerned because the propane has been running like the fridge this whole time. And I was kind of nervous that that like, you know, the battery would be drained pretty low, but it's been in there for two days with nothing, you know, and it's only down like a third, which is, or uh, like a fourth, which is good. Yeah. So still at 75% capacity. Yeah. Thank you, six volt batteries. Yep. So this is the first time I'm seeing all the things on here. It, it looks, I mean, it is brand new. It looks like so shiny clean on the bottom. I. I'm kinda, I don't want to take it on any gravel shiny right now. like a diamond in the rough. It's so shiny. It never looks like that. Look how shiny clean it is. We've got three of these crossbars, brand new axles, new leaf springs, new tires, which we had just put on before we got here. Luckily, the tires still fit with the new axles, the new suspension. We got like a whole underbelly. Like everything is new. We still got one up upgrade to go. These stairs are getting replaced also, but I am just over the moon excited right now. I'm so happy that we're going to have a much more stable RV while moving and while parked. And it gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing that it can handle what we want it to handle and that we don't necessarily have to upgrade to another RV right now. We can just make this one sturdy and strong and um, keep going because we, we love Wendy. She's part of the family. So these are the steps that are gonna go right here. They shipped everything to Cliff's Welding for us. Cliff's was just super accommodating. It was awesome. The under storage box here, you're gonna see more of that. This is a handrail for the steps to kind of, it, it won't replace this, but it'll add to it, I think. These are the stabilizer things. I, it, there's And there's lights in there somewhere. Too. There's all sorts of stuff. We're going to go meet up with the guys from Moride right now to get this done. Now we're just running it over to an area where we can film. I'm uploading a video that I worked on last night. We've got Wendy behind us. We're rolling in. that we wanted to get stabilized. One was to get rid of the diving board steps. And if you know, you know. <laughs> uh, 
over time, the steps have taken a lot of abuse from all of us going up and down them, and especially the kids happily using the last step as a bouncing board. In fact, do you remember the time where Kristen fell down the steps in front of the police officer? Literally, it was like, whoosh, right at the foot of the deputy. I was like, I have the permit right here. Want to see the bruise? There's the bruise. Ouch. It was time to get rid of them. We are filming the install for the step right now. Just, I'm just so excited about this. We yeah. brought it to this really pretty park here where there's plenty of space and room for us to do this. And uh, yeah, we're about to get started. So yeah. I thought I'd take a second just to say what we were doing. As you can see, um, the children oh, yeah. going up and down the steps is not so good for those fold out stairs. Yep. Oof. I did not clean underneath that plate. Uh, well, we won't let them film that. <laughs> Well, that's embarrassing. <laughs> I can't believe that was that simple. I thought for sure we'd be taking apart stuff. And... Yeah. yeah so you just turn it? Twist it and then pull it down. Make sure you support it as it falls. Oh, it's, that's awesome. <laughs> Just got done installing the Moride Step Above Steps. Uh, first impressions right off the bat. Number one, this install was so easy. I thought it was gonna be comp you know, complicated taking things apart and having to get underneath or something like that. No, it literally was taking the little dust sweeping threshold piece off and then just setting the steps in here to make sure that they fit then putting four screws in that was it that was it and it's done i think you know if we weren't filming it would have taken less than 10 minutes if that and yeah going in and out just that's it they come right down there's still more things to install so i gotta get moving Sticker right yeah, there. There that means okay. Now open it so I can see. I think our viewers need to see the giddiness that I see. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. <laughs> That's pretty neat. It's all right there. I don't uh, have to run back and forth. You know, I mean, like stop, chop the wheels, open this up, slot the chocks right there. It's right. awesome. First two things to do when you set up camp, you put your leveling blocks and your wheel chocks. In. Yeah. So it's uh -huh. and then you put your stairs down. And you're all set. Yeah. Yep. different aren't they <laughs> they're different oh she's shaking come on get, get there get there i know good job here let her come down standing outside the dumpster here because we're just about finished up now what's in there the old steps it has just been a blast doing all this as the sun starts to go down. We got entertainment over here too. Great day. The second piece of stabilizing Wendy while we're parked was to stabilize the jacks somehow to prevent the side to side 
wobble effect. <laughs> Moride provided us with the X-Brace stabilized scissor jack stabilizers. They are sending us a second one so that we can do both the front and back. And I think it actually should have come initially and there was a mix up. And so, and then we've been on the road forever. So they have not arrived yet, but they are on their way. Uh, so we're going to do a more detailed video later with a review of how well they're stabilizing it. Oh, oh, well, already <laughs> I've noticed a difference. Yes. Just with the one, yeah. um, it has really helped cut down on the wobble, especially when it's windy. <laughs> There's still a little bit, but it's better. Yeah, it's much better. That will help with the wind a lot too wind. That's it guys. Thank you for being here watching the video. We hope you've enjoyed our trick our trailer series so far. We still have one more video coming up, which is probably going to be what a lot of you have been asking about. It is yes. the total cost breakdown of what everything's going to be. Now, being straight here, Morai did hook us up with these products. We're super grateful for them. Uh, but we're going to contact everybody and find out what the actual cost is for the install and all those things because Cliff's also helped us out too. Yeah. We'll give you the full no holds barred everything on this next Tuesday episode. Yeah, that way you guys can plan if you're wanting to trick out your trailer. Also, instead of buying a whole new RV, I am sure you can save some money by tricking out your trailer too. Well guys, hit the thumbs up on the video if you liked it. It always helps. We thank you. If you're brand new here, check out the other videos in this series and subscribe and let us know in the comments below. Yep. Otherwise, we'll, we'll see, see you out, out there. there.